I'm Dr. Abdel Jalil, a fellow at the Esophageal Motility Disorders Program at the Medical University of South Carolina. I work with Dr. Donald Castell. Achalagia is a rare disease where the nerve endings in the esophagus or the food pipe uh, has been damaged. It's thought that the initial hit is by a virus infection, which will provoke the immune system and result in such damage. The lower esophageal sphincter or valve will be uh, contracted all the time or tight and doesn't let the food go down easily to the stomach. Since the lower esophageal sphincter will be contracted or tight uh, most of the time, the patient will start collecting the food uh, inside the esophagus itself in the chest. And that may result in regurgitating uh, the food uh, back up and sometimes to the lungs. Weight loss is another uh, symptom that some patients will present with because they do not uh, maintain adequate uh, calorie intake. Diagnosing achalagia could be tricky. Most patients will have had endoscopy done uh, to rule out any masses or structural uh, changes in the esophagus before they get referred to the uh, motility experts. Manometry is the gold standard, which is a uh, test where a catheter will be passed through the nose all the way down to the stomach. This catheter has a uh, pressure sensors that will measure the pressure inside the esophagus and at the lower esophageal sphincter. That procedure will take between 15 to 30 minutes, where the patient will swallow um, some liquid or water, and that will measure the pressure inside the esophagus. Other tests include barium esophagram, which basically is an x-ray um, with the patient um, swallowing a dye, and uh, the x-ray will capture a real-time images of the swallowing. Diagnosing achalagia, as I mentioned, could be tricky, and many patients do not present um, to the uh, uh, motility specialist at an early stage. Or sometimes they get misdiagnosed with other conditions like reflux disease. Early diagnosis is very important, and performing the above-mentioned test is of um, uh, extremely important value to reach the right diagnosis. Treating achalagia might be challenging where the aim is to open up the lower esophageal sphincter to uh, let the food pass easily down to the stomach. Medications, including calcium channel blockers or nitroglycerin, which mainly used in the cardiovascular medicine, are used to relax the uh, lower esophageal sphincter muscle, but that is usually of minimal help. The main treatment is one of two options. One is a balloon dilation. We call it pneumatic balloon dilation because we inflate that balloon with air. It's usually done uh, during an outpatient endoscopy procedure and the patient will go home the same day. That may last the effect um, um, for a variable period of time. It may, it may need to be uh, uh, repeated as well. The other procedure is to make a cut in the muscle of the esophagus, mainly in the sphincter and that is called myotomy. That could be done traditionally um, through laparoscopic surgery, but nowadays there is a newer uh, procedure called POEM, or pair oral endoscopic myotomy, which is done uh, through endoscopy, and the patient will go home the same day. Complications of achalagia include aspiration or regurgitating the food particles to the lungs, and that may result in lung disease. Other complications include structural changes in the esophagus, if it um, gets uh, untreated for a long period of time, and that may require surgical resection of the esophagus in some cases. Risk of cancer is minimal, and the experts in the field do not have consensus on repeating endoscopy as a measure to follow up on that risk.